Okay, so we're going to do a quick practice problem to calculate the equilibrium constant and delta G standard state. So the question says an enzymatic hydrolysis of fructose 1-phosphate, uh, as shown in this, uh, in, in this mechanism, it was allowed to proceed at 25 degrees Celsius to equilibrium. The original concentration of fructose 1-phosphate was 0.2 molars, and 6.52 times 10 to the negative fifth moles at equilibrium. Calculate the equilibrium constant and the free energy of hydrolysis. So our, our free energy, our free energy of hydrolysis, delta G standard state, is equal to negative RT times the natural log of KEQ. So of KEQ. And it says it wants us to find KEQ, and it wants us to find the free energy. So we know how to find the free energy, but we, we have an unknown variable. So we have to solve KEQ first. And the KEQ is basically equal to the products over the reactants at equilibrium. It tells us in the problem that our reactants, our fructose 1-phosphate, our, react, our sole reactant, it's unimolecular, it... It is uh, 6.5 times 10 to the negative, so 6.552 times 10 to the negative 5. And so uh, what's, what, what came out of that, we, from this hydrolysis, we got two products. So we have to take the amount of fructose times the amount of uh, inorganic phosphate on the top of a reaction to find KEQ. So the amount of fructose produced would be w the amount of moles of fructose 1-phosphate that we started with minus the amount of moles that we had left, so 6.52 times 10 to the negative times 10 to the negative fifth. And what you actually get for that is the you get the concentration of fructose um, and the final concentration is 0 0.1999 moles. And so that's also going to be the same as the amount of inorganic phosphate. So the top of our KEQ equation is going to be 0 0.1999. That's the amount of fructose times 0 0.1999 is the amount of, of inorganic phosphate. So it's just 0.199 squared. So when you work this out, KEQ is equal to 613.098. And then the only, the only thing left to do, I tried to move that by itself, but it's not letting me. So the only thing left to do is I just got to plug KEQ into, into this part of the equation. The temperature was at 25 degrees, but we got to convert that to Kelvin because our gas law constant is in uh, units of degrees or is in units of Kelvin, and so uh, 25 plus 273 is 298, 298.15 for the temperature in Kelvin, and the gas law constant R is usually it's equal to let me find a place to write this is equal to 8.314 joules per kilogram uh, uh, joules per k per mole. But delta G is almost always expressed in kilojoules, and so uh, we have to convert that 0 0.8314 to zero to zero point zero zero eight three one four, and so we just plug that in right there. And when you're all done, you should get that delta G standard state. At this temperature is negative fifteen point nine one.